Hello Nithi, good to see you here. With your excellent score in NEET, now you are in GS Medical College. So, how do you feel? Hello ma'am, so it's wonderful to have a great score in NEET and then getting selected into the Dream uh, Medical College, which is uh, GS Medical College. And it's a wonderful exposure there. And it's uh, still wonderful to have uh, achieved such a great uh, step in my life. That's true. Uh, Nidhi, our students would like to hear from you your journey after 10th till you get into GS Medical. So, uh, your study plan uh, in the last two years, how did you prepare for uh, NEET exam? So, if you could share that. So, we had another 10th exams around me and then we had lockdown. So, then I thought that let's prepare for NEET and 11th grade. And uh, so I joined the Dhyanapar class and they had, they had our foundation courses first. So where the basic um, concepts were cleared and then later on uh, going into the advanced level teaching. Where we had two and two and a half hour lectures every day. So basically we were consistent enough to uh, prepare for uh, a meet. And uh, the sessions held were quite nice and we uh, uh, we had to read NCRT after the, uh, basically when the lecture gets over. So overall the, the studies which were there were really nice. Uh, generally a neat aspirants find physics subject very difficult and you had big marks of 176 on 180. So how did you manage your physics? So um, physics for me was also a uh, bad dream. And uh, I suffered a lot in physics initially, and the concepts weren't clear at first. So, after the lectures, what I used to do was uh, watch any YouTube lecture uh, to build up my concepts and then read NCRT. Still, the physics that level mark wasn't achieved. So, then we had this uh, SSB sessions for special students. So, where uh, we had a professor who really helped us in uh, physics. And he literally taught us from the base, like from zero level to the advanced level. So thus all my concepts were cleared and then we had this regular test for physics, which also built up my concepts. So basically practice in physics will help achieve uh, great scores of uh, 170 above plus. So, yeah. And uh, what about like subject wise, if you could uh, give tips to the students who are preparing for NEET, that how their approach should be towards uh, respective subjects? So need always um, circumference around uh, um, NCRT. So basically for each and every subject you have to need NCRT. Mm -hmm. First the beginner of the used to take lectures for us. So they're understanding the basic stuff. Then later on I used to go and need NCRT for all the three subjects. And then I used to solve models. Now for biology you have to read NCRT like really thoroughly. So I had uh, read it about seven to eight times. And then I had solved with the other modules and then followed by MTG. And then there was a certain reason which were also uh, put up in uh, this paper on it. So uh, solving a certain reason was also, uh, mm -hmm. you have to solve a certain reason to score great in it. And then for chemistry, inorganic chemistry is uh, um, NCRT based totally and then you have to practice um, questions uh, which were relevant to their right. model, they were they used to be yes. surprised. And then for organic chemistry, I used to make you knowledge. First, uh, uh, the Vidyanath, uh, uh, we had ANT sir who um, used to teach the uh, reaction to all the organic chemistry reactions. And then uh, I used to make the notes from NCRT and Vidyanath model. So, clubbing up all the uh, all the information used to be gathered in one particular note which I used to revise. Uh, and then for physical chemistry, uh, the continuous uh, practice of the mm -hmm. numericals is important. Now main thing in chemistry is for organic as well as physical, you have to keep your concept really clear because they are similar to that in physics. Right. So you have to keep each and every concept uh, clear. So mm -hmm. what I used to do is in case of any doubts, I used to approach the respective faculty. and. Uh, uh, then I used to get an answer within a day yes. or two and which used to like, keep my concepts clear. Yes. Uh, yes. And you were consistently taking all the tests that uh, you know we had uh, scheduled in the span of two years. Uh, even towards the end when we had full syllabus FATs. 
So how, uh, how do you relate your scores uh, in FATs and the final score that you had in the so we had basically two tests, which were the unit test and the full length test. The unit tests were like weekly based and uh, whatever the chapters were covered, uh, we used to have tests on them. That. that used to build my concern. Hmm. Now FLT was for revision purpose. So during the last uh, last uh, two three months, we had like ten plus tests which were there. Now the questions which were there in FLT were similar to that in need. Now they helped me in time managing stuff and also. Um, and we don't know which all uh, areas and uh, uh, the respective uh, subjects were weak. So I used to go, uh, I used to go back home and then uh, revise uh, the same uh, subject and the uh, concepts which were there. Now this uh, really, I mean, I used to score 600 plus. Uh, so I used, I got a rough idea like where I would lie yeah. and uh, which way you yeah. can reach. And uh, even uh, you had solved all previous year papers. Okay, so uh, practicing those, uh, practice of solving those previous year papers uh, did help. really help. I mean, our previous year, I mean, we will basically uh, try to replicate the previous year questions which are there and uh, like slightly changing the uh, question. I don't, huh? So, and I used, I had some like previous year papers thrice or four times. Last, yeah. yeah, last time I used to solve those only. So, I got an idea what kind of questions they would ask in me. Yeah, that's very really helpful. So, uh, I mean, how you would like to guide your juniors who are preparing now for me? So, with my message to juniors would be be consistent, then put in all your efforts for me, and um, then afterwards, when like, you achieve a great result and need, then you will feel really happy, and then you won't have any regrets which are there. Exactly. Now, don't give up for when you are starting. I like to prepare and there would be certain stages where it would be tough mm-hmm. for you. It would be a tough time. You will have to sacrifice on some certain things. But then don't give up on your studies and uh, yeah, be disciplined enough. Do attend all the lectures and yeah, ask a lot of doubts. I mean, the <laughs> concepts which you are even a slightest bit of doubt if you have, then yes. do feel like free to uh, approach the professors and they'll really help them. I have asked so many doubts, I mean, all my chats which are there in the last two years, they were filled with the doubts. Okay. <laughs> so, and the day got cleared also, that was a major self surprise. So, how many hours like uh, you used to study? Since it was lockdown and then we had only two and a half hour lectures which were there on the right. focus, so I had the rest of the day to study for me. So, I used to study. The whole so day. actually just uh, learn and study, study. Yeah, that's, that's the it. only thing and then you chase your passion to get into a yeah. medical college. Right? So for me like the formula was discipline plus dream plus consistency will make for success. That's true so, and that is where now you have uh, reached. So uh, thank you Nidhi and all the very best for your future. Okay, our best wishes are always with you.